Hey, um, so I just wanted to walk you through how to create a custom menu of blog topics that you can put, um, depending on your theme, anywhere in the theme. Um, I usually use them as widgets on the sidebar, uh, and I use them sometimes on the footer to kind of create a second menu. So I'm in here under Appearance and Menus. And basically what you do is cr click here to create a new menu, and you kind of name the menu either based, uh, based on kind of what it's about. So you already have a menu for your footer, which I just created for you. Um, so it, it depicts, you know, where it's got to go. So a footer menu is really clear. Your main and primary men menu is what goes up on top. And now blog topics, which I just created. Um, and this allows your visitor to your website to easily be able to get to some content without having to click on the blog. Um, there's two ways you can do this. You can create a submenu that's part of your navigation. So when they click on blog, um, all your other topics could come up. I've seen that. Um, or you can just create a menu like this. We're going to put it in your sidebar on your blog um, so that people can get to it that way too and also from your website. So it doesn't matter how you do it. I'm going to show you how we do it as a as a widget. So you name your menu, um, and you're going to go through this, through this process um, for when you do it as a widget, and we'll I'll walk you through the other process. You basically want to ignore this because you don't want these pages to be added to your top level main menu, um, and you don't want this to be your primary menu. Okay, so you just want to leave those blank. This is just like an additional menu. Um, so basically you're going to go over here to where it says pages and blog posts um, get categorized. This is why it was so important that I showed you how to categorize your blog posts because if you don't have topics defined, we aren't going to be able to pull them in here uh, to this menu. So you have a lot of options here. You can create projects within this theme and projects. I'm not using it for you right now because you don't really have products that are like visual, like if you were a fashion blogger or you did hair or you did websites and you had a lot of different things you wanted to show people different portfolios, you could create projects in this theme and then create a menu. So we're not going to do that because it doesn't really fit what you do yet, um, but you'll have that av av um, availability to do it. Um, the other thing you can do is just do links. And I do links sometimes. I'm actually working on like an Uber Uber lead page with tons of, of resources. Um, it's basically a marketing guide with um, a list of different resources for many different categories for online marketing. And basically what I would put here is the link to the lead page. Then you can actually add this link to a menu bar. So when people are at your web on your website, they can actually go to a specific link and it feels like it's part of your website, but it's actually an external page. Um, the challenge is that, is that you gotta kind of make it feel like it's similar in branding and color, but you know, it's not a huge issue. So you'd put your link here and you would put the menu item text here. Um, so how you would want it to look on your menu. So we would put um, resources. And I see you have a resource page, but nothing on it. So you may want to think about doing a lead page with like your top five business resources. It could be motivation. It could be video stuff. It could be just sort of scheduling tools, things that you use, maybe a, an affiliate product or two. Create a lead page and then actually put your link here. And once you do that, you can actually add this resource to your main menu. Okay, so that's just a, a different tip for your main menu. Um, but for this, we don't have any outside URLs. If we did, we could use this feature. We're going to go to categories. This is how you're going to create separate um, blog topic menus. We have branding as our only topic right now, but this is why it's important that you go back to all those blog, blog posts and you actually create those categories. Um, and you're going to have to come back to this menu and update it because it doesn't automatically update, right? So you're going to have to do that. So I clicked branding. I clicked add to menu. And now you have a subcategory of branding. There's something else that you can do depending on how you want to do this. Now, this is your choice. I'm going to set it up like this. If you want to come in and change it, just put this as a, something, a task for you to do. So here is our menu. I'm going to save it. It's done. I'm going to show you how to connect this in a widget, and then I'm going to come back and show you that other option. So basically, we're going to go into Appearance, into Widgets, 
and we are going to go to the location where we want to put the widget. You could put it on your footer, you can put it on your home page. Depending on your theme, there's other options. Um, you can put it on your page sidebars, um, or you can put it in your text sidebar. Right now, you have your um, Aweber form that's um, on your page. So that's fine. You can um, put this custom menu wherever you want. I personally would put it in your, if I can get it in there, your post sidebar. Just drag it in. And now you can see you can pull up blog topics as a footer menu. And then here you can type in whatever would help your visitor understand what this is. Um, topics on the blog. And you can change this if you want it to be different. So that means every time you have a blog post, there'll be a, a, a link to all your blog topics here. Um, again, you have to go back and add them into the menu as you create new topics. Um, and you can also do the exact same thing on your page sidebar if that's what you wanted. It depends on sort of what you think about your pages as. You know, I would say on your pages, you know, having a link to your Aweber form or your opt-in offer or a product makes sense. Um, but another way to do this is to actually put it in your menu. So now that this is done, let's go to your web page. Let's go to your blog. I'm refreshing the page right now um, just because the changes aren't going to come through until I do that. So I am refreshing the page. And if we did this right, topics on the blog, look at that. So that means that if they're reading something about, um, you know, uh, one thing, they can actually go to another. And that's great because, again, the goal, you want people to stay on your website as much as possible and you want to suggest other things for them to read. So I just clicked on this blog post and you can see you have this topics thing here, which is great. So we did that successfully. The other thing you can do, as I mentioned, is you can have it as a sub menu of this, of your blog, so that when people go there, they can hyperlink. Um, and you can kind of test that out. Um, how you do that is you go back to what, the main menu, because that is part of the main menu. You're going to select your main menu. And you're going to go to blog. And some cool things here, you can change the name of this. So if I wanted to call it something else, although I have no idea why you wouldn't call it anything but blog, but you could do that. You can always come in and change, you know, the name, even though the uh, you're linking to a specific page, it won't change the name of the actual page you created. It just changed the, changes the label on your menu. So if I wanted to change links of interest to something else, I could do that just by changing the navigation label, which is pretty cool. So what we're going to do is create a submenu, and you basically follow the same process of finding the page or the project or the category that you want. Um, and then you basically put it in here underneath where you want it. So we're going to go to categories and we're going to go to branding. We're going to go click on add to menu. And how I have it now is that branding is a separate main category. So let's save that. I'm going to show you what that looks like. I don't, this is not what we want to do, but I wanted to show you the positioning. So now you see branding is up here. Um, there may be a reason that you want to do that, um, but I don't really know what that would be at this point. Um, there's other ways to do different things with your menu. It's really up to you. But to make this a sub-menu of blog, you basically pull it out to the right, and now it's a sub-menu. See how that is? And we're going to save this. And I'm going to go over to here, and we're going to refresh the page. I'm going to show you what that looks like. So now you've created a thing called blog, and now people can jump right to your content on branding. Do you see how it's so powerful? Now you need to just kind of make sure that you... Um, um, have all your categories in place. That's that's some of your, your homework. <laughs> so um, this is interesting. It looks like um, what it does on your blog page is it basically pulls up an image um, of your featured image, which I added in here just to test you. You might want to take this out because I don't think it makes any sense for this maybe. Um, and it pulls it up here into a thumbnail. So we'll have to see if when we change this um, to your image and your branding, if that stays there or not. But either way, I just wanted to show you some really cool things that you can do with your menu. 
Um, and we're going to talk more about your resources page. I mean, we're going to probably take it off the, the navigation because it doesn't have anything in it yet. Um, but I would suggest you add that onto your list of things to do um, so that you can add a little more value to your visitors. So that's the end of this video on how to create a submenu of blog topics. Um, hopefully this helped you. I'm going to sign off. Bye.